The Dog is a really sweet episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. This is the 19th episode of the first season. It's directed by Rod Daniel. And there will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens in this one. And there are some really wonderful moments in this one. And we have an absolutely adorable dog. So it starts off with Ray interviewing Christy Yamaguchi. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not into figure skating or sports at all. But the audience reacted very positively. So it seems like a big deal and not a bad way to start things off. And then immediately in the next scene, the narrative is established. Ray has come home with a dog. A dog has, well, really followed him home. It's clearly a lost dog. It, it doesn't look scruffy or unkempt. It seems to be well cared for. So it's not, uh, there's no suggestion that it's stray. But despite that, Ray wants to keep the dog. And Deborah does not want to keep the dog. Deborah reluctantly agrees that they can keep the dog until they find the dog's owner, which I think seems like a fair compromise. But things are not going very well for Deborah. The dog is keeping her awake at night. It's causing noises. But then you look at its face and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we get a brilliant moment between Robert and the dog. Robert comes over and the camera cuts back and forth between the dog's face and Robert's face. And they seem to have the same facial expression. And it's absolutely adorable. And before we know it, Robert is lying on the floor scratching the dog and stroking the dog and playing with it and the dog is on its back loving every second of it and it's just so delightful and so adorable and Robert says that the dog kind of reminds him of Chomsky which is a dog that they had when they were growing up but they have to get rid of it because Raymond had childhood allergies he's not allergic to dogs anymore but they have to get rid of the dog and I cannot imagine how heartbreaking that must be for a child to have to lose their pet for something that's not their fault. And by that, I mean it's Ray's allergies. It's obviously not Ray's fault either, but I imagine there would be some kind of resentment towards Ray. Not that Robert suggests this, but I imagine that would have been a really difficult situation to be in. In Marie and Frank's defence, I think they did the right thing by saying Chamsky ran away. Because I guess they didn't want Robert to blame Ray for the loss of their dog. But at the same time, Robert could see through it and he knew what was going on. And basically through guilt, Raymond agrees to give the dog to Robert. Now, it's still not Ray's dog. It's not his dog to be giving away. But he lets the dog stay with Robert and Robert gives Raymond a golf club to say thank you. And Robert is really happy. And then Phyllis turns up. Phyllis is played by Patience Cleveland, and it turns out she actually knows Deborah, and she she shampoos her hair, and the dog is actually called Baron, which is a, a suitable name when we find out what happens a little later on, but also a really nice name. I think it really suits the dog, and Phyllis had, had been away for a while, and the gardener had apparently left the gate open, and Baron got out, and, and that's why he was wandering the streets. And Ray goes over to Marie and Frank's house and we have, again, another wonderful scene where they're playing with the chew toys and Marie has bought him, uh, the dog, a, a, a phone, a, a rubber phone and Frank's bought him a rubber fire hydrant and it's just the cutest thing ever to see them getting overexcited about this dog as if it's like a, a grandchild or something and it's just, their enthusiasm is so infectious but I love that they're still bickering about who got the best dog toys. It's just so sweet. And, of course, Ray has to say the owner has come over and obviously it's her dog. She has every right to take that dog back. And it is heartbreaking, but at the same time, very funny. Because once Ray <laughs> takes the dog away, we learn, Ray doesn't know this yet, but we, the viewer, learn that Frank and Marie had just dropped $200 to get the dog fixed. And we had also learned that he was a prize stud. And Phyllis is obviously not going to react to this. And I could kind of see Phyllis's reaction coming. I don't think it's because I'd seen this episode before, because most of this I couldn't remember anyway. But I did think that her reaction was going to be pretty obvious. And that is, once she found out the dog had been fixed, he could no longer be used for breeding and obviously that meant she couldn't make money selling the puppies and she said and I quote this dog is worthless now how disgusting how horrible 
I've never seen a character quickly become an antagonist so fast. Absolutely fantastically done, of course. Instantly, she goes from being this sweet lady who's missing her poor dog. There, everybody's going to help her. All of a sudden, no, you're the villain. You're a nasty person. You do not deserve this dog. And of course, she doesn't even want the dog anymore. And Ray ends up buying the dog for, I think, $2,000. But correct me if that's not right. I didn't write down the figure. And, well, I think Baron has a better home now. So it is a very sweet episode. And also a great lesson about how you shouldn't have a dog just to breed them. I think there's nothing wrong with... If, your dog, if you breed your dog and everything's done properly and with the right health checks, that's fine. But to have a dog solely for the purpose of breeding, I think that's wrong on so many levels. And Phyllis very quickly became a horrible character. But it worked very well for the episode and Baron was absolutely adorable. I don't know who plays Baron. The information is not on IMDb. I don't know if he's appeared in any other films or shows. But he's certainly very cute, and the dog is definitely a very cute, adorable episode. Some great moments with Robert, and ultimately, it's an episode that I really enjoyed. Maybe not the most funny, though Marie and Frank definitely gave us, I think, most of the humour and some brilliant comedy there. But it's an all-round, really great episode. The dog is absolutely adorable. <laughs> 